Welcome to CC Only. My name is Jeanette. We are going to show you how to assemble the CC 55 R2. What you will need is a Phillips power screwdriver, wood glue, pliers, and a box knife to open your boxes. I'm now taking the boxes off of the pallet. You're going to have four boxes. The weight is about 250 pounds. And if you feel that you need help, please ask someone to help you. Um, we are going to assemble the coop, which is box A, B, and C. And we are going to assemble the run later on. You're going to want to take all of your pieces out and find the instructions, which is right here. It will come in a bag with the assembly instructions and all of the screws that you need. You want to make sure that you check the boxes for any pieces. Some of them are wrapped in paper before you throw your boxes away. Um, you need to have four pieces. It's the front, back, left, and right. And on the front piece, you are going to put the wheels on. The first thing you want to do is attach this. This uses the F screws, six screws. Okay, and then you're going to want to do the same thing on the back. We are going to put the handle on. You're going to need three B bolts. And you're going to do the same thing on the back. We're going to apply wood glue all the way down. Same thing on this side. And you also want to apply it on the back. Before you put the end panel on, you want to make sure that you have put the support board in and then you secure it. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. find the two support beams and they go on the bottom and then you're going to put the screws in. You're going to find the two nesting box panels and put glue. On each panel. Put it on with the C bolt. You're going to put the bolt in and then the nut and then secure. You're going to have two nesting boxes. You want to put the bottom nesting panel on and the divider and then the second panel and the divider as well. And then you're going to put wood glue on each side. and then attach with C bolts. We're attaching the panel, and it may be easier if you um, open the second nesting box so you can do some adjustments. And then you're gonna put the bolt in and secure. We are going to install the nesting box roof we're going to put wood glue and attach the roof. 
when you put the roofing panel on, you want to make sure that each side has this groove in it. Once you do that, you're going to put the roof cap on and you're going to secure with screws on both sides. You're going to have two sliding trays. One's going to go here and one here. And then you're going to have a plastic piece here. You're going to have two rooster bars. bars inside. You have a ramp here and this piece comes out and it's easy cleanup. And you have another door here. There are two vents, one here and here. And here's one more access panel and the ramp. If you want to move your Take the ramp off, make sure your chickens are not inside, and then the easy is this. If you have purchased a 55 with a run, we're going to install that, and this will also come with instructions and the pieces that you need to put it together. Once you open the box, you're going to find two roof caps, which I am going to explain to you. We're going to attach the run. You have two side panels. And you want to pay attention to these shapes here. That's where the roof is going to go on. And then you want to secure it. And then you're going to put wood glue here and attach this. You're going to install this portion of the run. This keeps your chickens in and predators out. And then you need to secure. This piece, you want to use the two A screws for underneath here for extra support. And then you want to put wood glue on both sides. to secure the roof with screws here, here, and over there, and then you're going to do the same thing on this side, and I'm going to explain why you have two roof caps. If you would like to buy additional runs, you're going to use the roof cap that does not have the end. If you are not going to purchase additional runs, you can just put the end cap or the roof cap with the end on. On the run, there's an access panel here, and then you're gonna have brackets and latches. You wanna put the latch on the coop and the bracket on the run. And if you'd like to move your run, you just unlatch it and just move your coop. Once your coop is finished, you're gonna want to add a waterproof sealer and you can do that every year or every other year. And you just put it on like that. And you want to make sure that your chickens do not go back into the coop until it's fully dry.
here are our orders that go out on freight. Hodge. 